us do another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2020 Internal Science Paper 2, which is Chemistry. So this is the ninth episode in a series of episodes that has focused on this paper extensively. So the first episode looked at the section A in details. So if you haven't seen that episode, please check out on our YouTube channel. So question B8 leads you here with this formula and ammonium nitrate with this formula are two nitrogenous fertilizers commonly used by farmers. Calculate the percentage composition of nitrogen in urea. So which one is urea? Urea is in this one. So the question is just asking us to find the percentage composition. So how do you find percentage composition of a given element? So in this case is nitrogen. So the percentage composition of the given element is given by the molecular mass, which is the molar mass of element divided by the molar mass of a compound. Then you multiply that by 100%. So, if you look at this formula, how many nitrogen do we have? We have these two, which is this one multiplied by two. So we're going to have two multiplied by, when you go to the periodic table and check for the relatively mass of nitrogen, which is this one, which is the mass number, which is 14. So this will be 14 here, two multiplied by 14, because there are two nitrogen. Then we come to this one. So we need to find the molecular mass of this compound. So let us go to the periodic table. So this compound is C O. We have N H two, then two outside. So what we have is how many carbons? We have one, which is twelve. Then plus how many oxygen? We have one, which is sixteen. Then plus we have how many nitrogen? One times two which is 2 multiplied by 14 as you see nitrogen here is 14 then plus so plus we have how many hydrogen is 2 times 2 which is 4 so it will be 4 multiplied by 1 so when we add that we are going to get this is 28 so we're going to get 12 plus 16 plus 28 plus 4. So when we add this, what we're going to get is this one and this one is a 40. 40 plus 20 is 60. So we have a 60. So when you come here, it will be over 60, which will give me multiply by 100%. So it will be 28 over 60 multiply by 100% percent which will give me 46.7 percent as in the answer so once you do that you are good to go question b explain the importance of nitrogenous fertilizers in agriculture so nitrogenous is in the fertilizer that contains nitrogen so the question is what's the importance of nitrogen so it is an important source of growth for them plants. So nitrogen promotes growth. That's the importance of nitrogen. So once you do that, you are assured of this one mark. Let us move to the next question. Question C. Describe the effect of using nitrogenous fertilizers on the environment. So, the effect is that if fertilizer is not properly used, it will find its way in the, the liver. So, it, it reaches the livers and starts stimulating 
growth of algae. Remember those river plants and other marine plants that deprive water of oxygen hence leading to the death of marine animals. Thus the effect of using nitrogenous fertilizers on the environment. Then question D apart from nitrogen name an element needed for root development. So for root development is in phosphorus. So phosphorus promotes root development. Then for seed formation is in potassium. So potassium is needed for root development. Then for growth, which we talked about earlier, is in nitrogen. So nitrogen is in for growth. So take note of these three elements that are found in the fertilizer. So these elements are the one that makes fertilizer to meet all the three requirements for the plant to succeed. So if you can do this, then you are good to go and you get at these 70 marks. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode where I will start looking at section C of this paper. Thank you viewers for watching this episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please consider liking and also, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing, and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got so much content. So we've got our mathematics, our based revision questions, we've got our physics, we've got our chemistry, then we've got also topic-based section for all the subjects. And this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic.